Now just a quick video on uh, how to remove the selector shaft seal or the manual shaft seal if you're a lazy bastard or, uh, or even if you have to remove this while it's in the vehicle. Now normally what you do is remove the whole linkage setup which can be a little bit involved. You might have to take the valve body off. You might not have a lot of room. Um, so I'll just show you what I've done. I've made up a little tool to, to get that seal out. Now you can see there's no way you could pull that out with a screwdriver or a punch or anything like that. What I've gone and done, I've made up this little, I found a little pipe there and it's actually 12 mil. Uh, the shaft's 12 mil so that'll fit over that nicely. And on the lathe, I've just made a little taper on that pipe and when you make the thread on it, you need to make the, the front part of the thread on a 90 degree angle. So when you screw it in, it's got something to pull it out with. So it's sort of like a fish hook, if you can imagine that. And then I've just put a thread in the end of it here and made this little piece up. So we can just, so we can just thread that into the into the seal, put this little bit in there and then I've might just put a little bend in that just so I can do it in, do it up and that that part will actually pull it rest up on the top of the shaft there and just pull the seal out. So I'll just go ahead and show you how um, I actually do that. Now I've just put a dollop of weld there just so when I'm, it's got something for the shifter to turn it on. As you can see that the pipe's pretty, pretty thin, otherwise I would have welded a nut or something on there. Let me just put that in there. Just thread it in. I can feel it just grabbing onto that now. And they're not a very big seal, so you have to be a little bit gentle. And now this will just lever off that shaft and hopefully it'll just come out. Oh, not enough, I haven't threaded it in. I might have to machine a little bit of that off just so it can go in a little bit deeper. You can see where the, the end of the seal is, so it's probably actually bottomed out on the inside of the, the case there. Okay, I've machined it down a bit and you can feel it's actually gone in a lot tighter. Important to not go too far otherwise you'll just, oh the, the thread will slip on it and then you've got to go deeper again. So I'll give this a crack now, see if it'll come out. Looks like it's coming out now. And there we go. There's a the seal. I won't focus a bit. We haven't damaged anything. We haven't damaged the housing. The only thing we've damaged is a seal. And there's a seal. You can see it's a little metal clad seal. So it is a little bit tricky to do if you haven't got a lathe, but uh, if you have got a lathe you can easily make up these little tools, which I do quite often. And uh, I've got other tools on my videos if you 
if you like to see how we do things sometimes. Anyway, hope that's helped uh, give you an idea on how to remove a seal without taking all this stuff out. Thank you for watching.